Hi everyone, so today we're going to talk about texturing using curves. Uh, we're going to use this little tiger model that I've created here. Um, and normally what you do when you're texturing is you just choose a color by holding down C, hovering over a color and holding down C, and then just brushing on with RGB turned on. Uh, and you just brush away and actually create your textures, or your poly paint rather. So a smarter way to do this is to grab the Curve Editable brush from the menu, holding down B, C, and then you'll see Curve Editable there. Once this is on, we turn off Z Add, because we don't want it to actually add anything. We just make sure just RGB is turned on. We select our color, we draw a stroke, and we click it once. And you can see that that stroke is now on the surface of the model. And as we, we can actually drag that stroke around the model and actually change its position on the model, which is pretty cool. As this is a stroke, as well as actually modifying the position of it and the direction of it, we can actually go to the stroke menu and take full advantage of the modifiers in there. Intensity and size allow you to change the strength of the start and the end of the curve. So by changing them, if we click once more on the curve, you can see that that curve is now falling off to a nice little taper. We just have to click somewhere else on the model and then click, draw a new line, click, click somewhere else, draw a new line, click, and we can create our curves as much as we like on our model. Only each curve is editable. You can't actually go back and edit the previous one, but once you've clicked somewhere else, that's it. If we want to join the two up, you can see the symmetry was on here. So I can create a new line to join the two if I hadn't actually managed to, to reach the two before. And you can see there's a bit of a kink in here, so we can also take advantage of the curve functions such as smooth. We can click that a couple of times and then just click the stroke again, and you can see that that's actually smoothed that out. This is still tapering, this particular curve. So we can go back into our curve modifiers and maybe take off our taper on our size and then click it again and drag it into place uh, until we're happy with this position. Hope this helps. This is a really cool little tip for texturing with curves.